just did this tribal look. I thought it was a good idea. Um, I've been really wanting to do like a tribal African look for the longest and I came across this online of this West African girl and I just thought this was really cool. So I wanted to put my little twist on it. I didn't have any white and I didn't have her blue or her gold lips. So I just used CoverGirl concealer on my lips and I use Zombie Cosmetics in Sea Witch line and some matte lipstick and then I use Black Cat from Zombie Cosmetics to do the dots all over my face and I want it to be a little different from the picture so I added bottom lashes and I put some colors you know just to make it a little bit different. The palette that I used to get the colors on my eyes from Morphe and it's their eyeshadow 5B and this is the color that I, this, these are the colors. And the lashes, I got them from eBay or Amazon. These are the bottom lashes. They're like all different ones. But, you know, my foundation, I'm using Revlon, Colorstay, and Cappuccino and Mocha. And it's two different formulas. One's for normal skin, one's for oily skin, and I just mix it together. That's it, guys. Hope you like it. Let me know if you like any of my videos. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment, and let me know how I'm doing, and let me know what you would like me to do. So if you're interested in this look, just keep on watching. All the products are in the bottom bar below. Just check it. If you have any questions, just let me know. So I'm starting with NYX Dance with the Tide for my transitional color. You could use MAC Stable Eyeshadow if you have that one. I'm going to go into this Morphe palette to highlight my eyebrows. It's the perfect tan color to make my eyebrows stand out. Right now I'm using a bronzer to have more definition in my crease area. I'm not going to take it no higher than my crease, it's just going to be at the edge. I'm going to be taking a different brown to give more depth into it. The key to this look is just blend, blend, blend. Now I'm going to go into this face powder by Black Radiance and Rich Mahogany. I'm going to contour with it. You don't really need a contour powder. You can use any face powder. The reason why I'm using so many different greens is because I want different shades of green and I think it looks better when you take pictures. Make sure you take your time and blend is the key to any look. So I'm going to be spraying my Fix Plus from MAC onto my eyeshadow brush and then I'm going to dip it into the eyeshadow. It gives it a metallic look and it makes it look more pigmented. Now I'm going to take a clean fluffy brush to blend it out further so it looks seamlessly. You can do a wing liner if you choose to, but today I'm not going to do that. These are some bottom lashes from Amazon, I believe. cannot dance so I don't know what I'm doing <laughs> and I'm also making the glue dry on the lashes the easiest way to put on fuzz lashes is to look down into a mirror and just put them on slowly
while the glue is still drying, I'm multitasking and I'm gonna apply my highlighter. I love being glowy. I'm gonna apply this flesh tone eyeliner. You can use white eyeliner if you have. I'm really starting to like these Milani lip glosses. They last all day for me and they just feel so nice. And I'm just showing you guys that you could just wear it just like this or you could keep watching and see the African inspired makeup look that I was trying to achieve. If you see me looking down, I'm just looking at the picture in my lap, guys. Don't think I'm crazy. Talking to my husband, guys. <laughs> showing you the finished look. I tried to do it as close as possible to the model, but I didn't have the material. But I tried my best to make it simple. If you try it at home, just let me know. Tag me on Instagram, beautiful artistry. Thank you for watching. See you soon.